A white picket fence surrounds this idyllic two-story Tudor home. The brick house comes with an upstairs loft and appliances are included. The catch? This house is pint-sized. Luxury playhouses are a hot item for some homeowners. Take this house by Lilliput Playhomes. The 60 and a half square foot Spanish style house has two towers, two slides, a rock wall and swings. A bridge from the second tower connects with the owner's deck. Inside, a swinging bookshelf leads to a secret room below. All this for only $15,000. These homes can cost more than $200,000, but the payoff is big. They keep kids entertained and add curb appeal. Some like this for $50,000 by La Petite Maison and the Lollipop Tree, resemble an actual house. Floral tiles on the kitchen wall are hand-painted and cut to scale. The curtains are sheer linen. There's a built-in bookshelf upstairs and a wraparound porch out front. Electricity and water are included. Heat and air conditioning cost extra. The Castle Dragon Theater by Barbara Butler has nearly 800 feet of play space and enough gadgets and features to keep kids busy for hours. There's a stage in front of the structure with a green backdrop and two hand-carved fire-breathing dragons on the sides. The lower level has a maze with secret doors and passageways. The upstairs level has two turrets overlooking the stage and a clubhouse in the center. The room is password protected, but don't worry, there's another way in through the secret door from the deck. Surrounding the playhouse is a tube slide, swinging bridge, rope net, crazy bars, and rock climbing wall. Custom built for $234,300. Wow. All right, we're here with Sunette Tanaka who was reporting that story. I'm looking at these playhouses and I'm knowing that where I live there are homes for sale almost for as much as a playhouse. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's crazy. Some of them can go as low as a couple hundred dollars, and those are the house-in-a-box type, but the custom-built ones can go over 200000 So here's my question. These are almost like full additions to some homes, right? I mean, you know, they have to come in, they have to build these. They're in all these, I saw some very ostentatious colors. Mm -hmm. What happens when your kid outgrows it and doesn't want it anymore? Do you have to pay somebody to come rip it out? <laughs> well, that's the thing. When parents buy this, they're looking at it as an investment for the kids, but also for the home. It adds a lot of curb appeal. So one designer <laughs> Maybe. Spoke Right, right. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully. But one designer I spoke with said that she really caters for adults. She wants the kids mm -hmm. to be happy, but she'll tailor what the kids want for an adult taste. Um, for example, this little girl wanted a house in Barney colors, like bright purple and bright yellow, and she decided to go instead with periwinkle purple and this butter yellow to the please mom. The mom did, not the kid. The mom, the mom decided, The mom and the right. designer together. Trying to make sure it would, yes. be, it would be sellable down the road. Right, right, right. Uh, do the parents ever use them themselves? I mean, do they ever say, all right, we need electric electro space for the dinner party. Let's go to the playhouse. <laughs> I don't know if they use them but they like, like that, but they can definitely go inside. A lot of them have a large door in the back for like a full-size adult. Yeah. The doors are usually like four feet, five feet, but the spaces inside are typically large enough for adults so they can come and sit in the tiny furniture and just hang out with their kids. It could be like a mom cave or a man cave yeah. if, you did, if you got a pool table, a mini pool table in there. How do uh, the, the parent, I mean, you're going to have your children in there playing, and I'm wondering mm -hmm. about some of the materials they use. I mean, people are very obsessed with sort of having uh, non-toxic materials in the yes. home because they, they care about their children, they care about their own health. Are you seeing some of those, are those materials being used with these playhouses? Yes. Well, the high-end playhouses are using amazing, amazing high-quality materials materials. Um, the Castle Dragon Theater that we just saw is made from redwood um, and the one of the houses, the second one that we saw, has um, sustainable hardwood for the furniture with an all-natural non-toxic finish. So it's top quality. Top quality. Well, mm -hmm. you know, some of those I couldn't actually tell apart from an actual house when I was looking at the pictures. Sunette Tanaka, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.